Lieutenant Claire Klein's violin is a lovely instrument and also was a life-saving project. It's a testament to what one can do with time and devotion. Claire Klein was a B-24 pilot who was shot down in February 1944 and held by the Germans in Stalaglift I. Allied officers like Klein were not required to work according to the Geneva Convention, and as POWs, they fought the hourglass until they were liberated. Many couldn't stand the confines of POW life, being held in close quarters with thousands of others after having experienced a trauma and with no predetermined end. In late 1944, Klein prayed for something constructive to do, a way to graduate from carving airplanes to something useful, and he came upon the idea of a violin. He was familiar with woodworking and instruments and resourcefulness from his childhood on a Depression-era farm in Minnesota. So he used that resourcefulness to gather the tools he needed. He bartered with other POWs and with guards. He used a pen knife, bed slats from their bunks, carpenter's glue scraped from the camp furniture. And he was excited to wake up every morning to get back to work on his project. He worked at it for several months, and then a guard later gave him catgut for the strings and also a bow. When he was done, he even varnished it using paraffin wax. He had made a violin. Christmas Eve 1944 was a memorable one. Klein gave his barracks a performance of Silent Night. After the war, Klein's violin was part of an exhibition of POW life that traveled the country from October 1945 to September 1946. Some of the host cities held concerts and the violin was even played. It was used as an example of what Americans are capable of, creating unbelievable things with next to nothing.